All of the images you're looking at right now are not real. Yes, you heard that right. These are all AI generated images and they've all been created using the latest update from Black Forest Lab called Flux 1.1. Just take a good look at these images. If you show these to someone, they won't even be able to tell that they were made by AI. It's that realistic. Without a doubt, Flux 1.1 is the best tool out there right now for generating lifelike images using AI. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use this amazing tool for free. Free. I'll take you through the process step by step so you can create awesome images just like these for your own videos. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use Flux 1.1 and start making stunning content without paying a single rupee. The Black Forest AI has just announced its latest update, Flux 1.1 Pro. And here's what you need to know about this new model. Flux 1.1 Pro generates images six times faster than the previous Flux 1 Pro. Impressive, right? And of course, they love to show off. So here are some benchmark results comparing it with other image generation models. And now let me show you a few ways you can utilize this tool. There are a few different places where you can use this AI tool. The first one is called together.ai. When you sign up on their website for the first time, they will give you $5 worth of credits for free to generate images. The second option is Segmind. They have the Flux 1.1 model and on their free plan, you can get 25 cents worth of credits every day. Next, there's rubberband.com where you can generate up to 10 images per day. I will share all the links below. Another one is fall.ai but you'll need to pay to use it. And lastly, you can try it on Freepik. But to use their AI tool, you need to buy their premium membership. Today, I'll show you how to use this on together.ai because it is very easy and it gives you free credits to generate images. Once you open together.ai and sign up using your email ID, you'll see an interface like this. You can see that it has a very simple interface with only a few settings. You can adjust the number of images to generate from here, though for some reason, it's not changeable at the moment. I'm not sure why. Then you can change the height, the width, the number of steps, and the random seed number. Not too many options here. So let's try a simple prompt, like a beautiful woman standing on a busy street and hit enter. As you can see, the process is really fast and here's the image. Now it does look like a typical AI generated picture. It's oversaturated, the background is quite blurry, the skin is super smooth and there's a bit of shine to it. This kind of polished look is common with AI images, especially with the Flux model. It's not a bad result, but not as impressive as the images we saw earlier in the video. Now, if you want realistic results, here's a little trick. Type IMG followed by an underscore and then type any four random numbers like 1279 and add .CR2 at the end. And make sure it's CR2, not CR7 for all you Ronaldo fans out there. CR2 is actually the file format for Canon camera images. Let's see what we get from that. All right, so here's the output image. If we take a look at it, you can see that it looks extremely realistic. It kind of looks like an old unprofessional photo, like something taken with an old phone. Very realistic, but not too polished. Now let's try changing the digits. Let's say 1487 and see what we get. And here's the output image. Again, it's a pretty simple, realistic, generic image. It feels like someone just snapped it on their phone. Nothing too professional, which gives it a natural look. Now, you can also add some keywords to make it more interesting, like a dog. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh my God, just look at this output. It looks like a typical picture of a dog taken by the owner. Can you even tell this is AI generated? It just looks like a regular photo. Let's try something else. Let's give it the prompt uh, lady and see what happens. And wow, look at this output. It's ultra realistic. I would honestly say if you saw this on Instagram or anywhere on the internet, you wouldn't be able to tell that this was generated by AI. This is amazing. And uh, what I really love about this image is just look at the skin texture. It looks so natural, very natural. Now you can also try something else. Instead of a lady, let's try a selfie. And oh my God, just look at this. Doesn't it look absolutely amazing? It has that old grainy natural look, which I absolutely love. One more thing I really like about Flux AI that it handles small details really well. And if we zoom in on the camera, you can see that the camera lenses are perfectly aligned and there's even a tiny flashlight, just like on an iPhone. However, the Apple logo is missing in this one, but overall it's still a good image. Well, you can also try some other formats. Instead of CR2, you can type H-E-I-C. This time, let's try the prompt club and see what it gives us. And here's the output. 
Look at that. Doesn't it look like a totally random real image? The facial features, the glasses, everything looks spot on in this one. It really feels like they're enjoying a nice dinner in a club. But honestly, it doesn't exactly look like a club. It feels more like a cafe or restaurant. But just look at the image. The realism is incredible. This is crazy. Now, one more thing to remember is that these tricks only work with one or two word prompts. So for example, if I type an old woman, it works because it's just two or three words. But if you use a long prompt, it's not going to work as well. So let's try the prompt old car and see what happens. All right, here's the output image. Look at that, how realistic it is. There are a few minor imperfections here and there, but overall, if we look at the image, it's very, very realistic and has a natural look. Let's see what happens when we give it a longer prompt, like an old man sitting inside a car. Here's the output. Now you can see it definitely looks like a typical AI generated image. I'm not saying it's a bad image, but everything looks a bit too perfect in this one. You can notice the background is really blurred out just like other flux images. The skin has that shiny polished look as well. So in short, it's clear that this is an AI generated image. You can also try other formats like JPEG. For example, you can type something like dinner.jpg and here's a very random image of a dinner. You can see how real it looks. Now let's try selfie.jpg. All right, here's the output. And wow, this looks very, very realistic. The graininess and the low quality feel really make it look natural. What I really like is how it keeps the imperfections in the image, like the imperfect shadows and lighting, which makes it feel like a real hand taken photo. It doesn't look like it was taken with a professional camera, just a random phone selfie. Next, let's try something like River JPEG. And here's the result. It's super impressive. Here are some images I was able to generate. And as you can see, every single one looks amazing. It's so good. It's almost scary. Honestly, this is so much fun. I could play with this all day, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to stop here. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep grinding.